So yeah, Global Game Jam is over and I haven't watched the footage but I don't know what I filmed but I'm guessing it's just one giant time lapse of two people sitting in an office in front of their PCs hacking away at their keyboard. <laughs> What kind of video am I gonna make? So welcome to the epic retelling of Global Game Jam 2019. Global Game Jam! Woo! So last time we had to drive half an hour to just get to our Game Jam site. And this time... We don't have to go anywhere. So Friday rolled around and the theme was announced. We're gonna do a very quick introduction of everyone. So I want everyone one by one stepping up there. Just, hey, I'm James. I do programming. I think that's fun. Done. Basically, that way you all get a face and a name and uh, maybe some kind of direction on what they're interested in doing. Since we're too early, we can't really show the, the thingy yet, or can we? Yeah, we can actually, because we're not allowed to show it before five, so... In case they showed the theme earlier than in the end, I'm sorry that you, you all cheated and are disqualified, but then no. <laughs> so it's getting worse. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh no. Uh, James. Well, there's no risk of us cheating now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the guy. <laughs> Shut the <up>, guy. <laughs> we have sound. <clears throat> Pizza, 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 pizza. Ooh, more pizza. After we got the theme, Joseph and I started thinking. We got an idea. Ta -da! So yeah, um, the theme for this game jam was um, what does home mean to you, I think. <sighs> home right now is kind of tricky. We thought about a couple different ideas and we wanted to, f we needed to um, find something that we could pull off in two days 
and we narrowed it down to three options. Idea number one was there are these, I think they're called hermit crabs in English and when they grow too big for their shell, apparently like every year or every summer or so, they all meet somewhere, line up in a row, everyone moves out of their old shell and into the new, bigger shell from their neighbor. It looks crazy. Um, so we kind of wanted to do a sorting game for that. Second idea was you play as a small parasite who lives on a um, bigger living being and you kind of have to defend that bigger being so and then the third game idea which was actually our first idea but we couldn't find gameplay for it was um, that home for us right now currently because really we're living in a house with like random people most of them I haven't even known for a month home is not a place but more um, the people that you're living with and just being together and yeah basically surviving the day so we decided we would make a small game multiplayer <laughs> um local multiplayer don't worry where you can play as a small simone and a small joseph and you live in a flat and there's random challenges popping up and those challenges are answering emails and cleaning the toilet and exciting stuff like that. Let's see how that turns out. So yes, this is what we came up with. Home for us is just kind of being together and managing to get through the day somehow. We built ourselves a I flat. knew you. Vasco, wow. look here. So, so far I have managed to make two characters that move um, and there's three spawn zones that get triggered at random and uh, de-triggered when the character is on top. Um, so this is where the minigames should go later. And for me that was pretty much Friday because I was fucking tired. So I just went to bed. So we're stopping early for tonight and we're gonna start fresh tomorrow in the morning. Joseph on the other hand drank a bunch of Red Bull. So he stayed up throughout the night and made a bunch of minigames. Saturday. Well, first some coffee. Right, James moved the coffee machine. Saturday is when we really started working. We set up the project and Joseph sent me all of the mini games that he had made and I just mashed them into the project. plan was to not do any art on Saturday and have the project done on Saturday evening so we only had to spend Sunday on art. Joseph was pretty much working on another mini game while I was assembling the scene. <laughs> when the laundry takes over your life. I also made this quick layout for the flat. <laughs> when the laundry is acting up. Click. 
call him the laundry master. From this screen. What? And then over here. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Why is there cats flying? Is there his foot? <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a meeting soon. Like project management or something. <laughs> Food. Um, 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 um. So now after the food break we decided we need a bit more uh, energy drinks for this night so we're gonna go to the supermarket and buy some more and also maybe talk a bit about pro problems with the game and how we can solve them. Ika! Ika! Car. Ika! Name for it when she does the I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mike can do this for an hour. My hand is broke. <laughs> Shut up, guys. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you have to understand, we were hyped on energy drinks. We were ready. We were gonna fucking do this. And then everything kind of crashed and burned. What the fuck? <laughs> so... Um, we wanted to have a bunch of mini games and we wanted to have local co-op. We would make a small game, multiplayer. 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 So what happened was you had one player that had the one side of the screen and the other player that had the other side of the screen and like whichever player would trigger the minigame it would appear on their side of the screen. That is all good. Only we wanted the players to be able to play the same minigame at the same time. So as soon as we tested that the engine was spawning the assets for the minigame but it suddenly had to spawn the same asset for two people and I couldn't distinguish between it. So basically what happened is we just had a shit ton of bugs because there were just assets all over the place and they all had the same name and everything went to shit. So we had the brilliant idea of just copy pasting all of the assets for the mini games and renaming them, which took two hours. <laughs> it's food time.
and then copy pasting the code for every mini game and then swapping out each name so that another asset would be spawned. Quick and easy solution and like we don't need to look at performance. So yeah, I think we sat there until two in the morning and just copy paste it a shit ton of assets and code. At this point you guys know that we're using an engine with visual scripting. Since the assets were copy pasted and they looked the same, there was no way to distinguish them from just the fucking images. Um, so we had to hover over every asset with the mouse, see the name and then swap it out. This wasn't a fun time. It wasn't. evening now and we just managed to fix one of the major bugs we had a bit of chaos in between um, and Joseph just reorganized the whole file and now I managed to sort everything out and now it's just a lot of yeah, it's just a lot of busy work but you still can't turn your brain off so let's see how long this all takes Uh, what the hell? Um, so everyone just left and I have no idea where they are. Let's go look. Nope. Mm. Gehen wir mal auf die 1. Nice. We've rewritten all the code and we only need to implement one more minigame and switch out a bunch of lines. Guys, get your shit together. For some reason click team doesn't let you switch out which object you want to create. So we have to delete all of them, remember all the information where it's supposed to be created, and then redo them. <laughs>
<laughs> it's so bad. It's perfect. Yeah, but it's too long, so I have to. Can you just take the first half of it and like mush the audio together? Then it becomes really high pitched. Oh yeah, yeah. I like just double the that. speed. Yeah. We had a phrase where we were supposed to say, trust me, I'm an engineer, but she said, trust me, I'm a vegetarian. Yes, finally the laundry game. This took forever to implement. And with that we now have our four mini games done and are finished with the gameplay. for bed now. So yeah, we almost managed to get the whole game done today, except for the art. Um, and except for one bug with the colliders in the end that we did while already being half asleep. Um, I'm not gonna tell Jess if he'll find out tomorrow. So uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll have the whole day to polish everything, which I don't think will be enough time, but we'll see. Sunday! So it's Global Game Jam day two and today we only have until five to finish the game and now it is... it's already ten! Um, fuck! Uh, also we're slowly getting snowed in. I hope the snow stops so people can leave because we don't have enough food to feed more people. So Sunday was gonna be art day because the game was working, question mark. We started out Sunday by just making pixel art together. Three more hours. Such focus, much well. Of course, I Hurry! Sweet. Colliders. <laughs> 60 minutes left. <laughs> then we kind of figured out that you can't win the game yet.
So you had these two characters, they had colliders, you could run around, you could trigger mini games, but there was no way to win. Around 4 p.m. we finally had our win condition, but still a blank windscreen. So we spent 20 more minutes just doing a super simple windscreen and like just giving the players some feedback like, hey, you managed to do five chores in this many time, good job, move on. <laughs> We are done. So in the end, everyone at Spell Collective showed off their games and we could play them. Our game is horrible for presentation because we don't have a start screen. So I'm a build one. Also, we took my keyboard. I can do this with just the mouse. What's going on over there? <laughs> oh, hey. I need an explosion. <laughs> explosion. More important news. The circus is back in town. <laughs> yes, it's working. Okay. I was in Conaito. We're really together. I think we nailed it. You can look at it. It's yeah. pretty. Whoa. Yeah. It's really pretty. Did you, did you make yeah, we really we made it pretty. Is it quick to then wipe? Oh well. That ghost game. That was pretty much Global Game Jam. <laughs> <laughs>